Hey guys, uh, Current Energy check-ins for the weekend. Um, Wu is sleeping. And I know I promised an update every Friday for his growth. And I, I refuse to wake him up. I don't want to wake him up. Um, but I will insert something, some playtime or something with him. Um, he is growing. He went to 25 pounds overnight. <laughs> he was 20 just the other day. Anyways, um, so yeah, he's growing. I can't see it anymore, though. I can't tell. So, I don't know. I, I, I can tell when he's playing with his BFF here, Stella, with uh, the neighbor's dog, because, you know, based on her, I can see how much he's grown. But um, I, I can't tell anymore. Anyways, in um, other, um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll insert something. Maybe not. Yeah. Sit. Say hi to mama. Good boy. Boop. No. Something else I wanted to address. Um, we're getting serious now. No, we're not. Uh, people that comment, which are not many, maybe one or two I found so far, that comment that I'm mean to my animals or I treat them who knows what off camera. Um, not much to say. You will be blocked <laughs> for uh, saying such crap because uh, you don't know that. You don't know me. You don't know what's going on behind cameras. Uh, but I would assume these animals would run the fuck away from me if I would be mean or abusive to them or, you know. Um, I would assume so, you know. I'm not that big of an animal connoisseur like a lot of keyboard warriors are. But I don't know. My guess would be that, you know, this guy right here. <laughs> Sorry for being mean to you and waking you up. Um, would probably not be so relaxed around me or, you know, Blue would not jump all over me to bite and lick the hell out of my ears and face. Um, so yeah, you will be blocked if I catch you. If not, yay, you put a great comment on my page uh, that has nothing to do with anything. But yeah, just so you know, for those very few, very few. Most people see the reality of Blue's hair being exactly like mine. <laughs> That's how I choose them. Oscar was the same. I actually had um, somebody at a... I think I said this story before. Years ago, I was going to work. Uh, I was with Oscar. I was going to pick up the truck and go to work. And I had my, my top was down. Uh, from my jeep so it was me and Oscar to the right seat belted in and somebody at a light next to us was laughing her ass off and she she was looking at me obviously and I'm like what did I do I'm like did I do something and she's like uh your hair has your dog has the same exact hair like yours that's I've never seen that that's and now with blue same story um so yeah yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to give much energy to that crap of, you know, people being bored or feeling the need to just say something out of their ass that they don't even know what they're talking about. So I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to invest my energy into that. Uh, just wanted to let them know if they see their comment disappear. It is what it is. I'm not, I, I, you know what? I have a lot of tolerance. I have a lot of patience for being a fixed sign. I have a lot of patience with people projecting their crap on me, even though they don't know me. Most of the people that do that don't even know me, but, um, you know, I know, I know people are going through a hard time a lot of times and they have to let that crap out. And if they don't have the resources to do it some other way, they're just going to project it out onto somebody. 
So I have a lot of patience with that. I have a lot of tolerance. Um, when it comes to just bullshit statements, um, especially about my animals, no tolerance whatsoever. That's when the lioness in me comes out. You touch my pack, the lioness is going to come out. So um, just as a fair warning to the people that don't know what they're talking about. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, back to business. I will be, speaking of animals, I'm going to miss them like crazy. I will be in a mini, almost a week, vacation thing next week. Um, I'll be in Colorado for a little bit. Um, so I really, really, really wanted to, to bring Blue with us, but, uh, I'm not gonna, not this time. Uh, next year he'll be more in tune with, um, things. He's too, he's too young right now. He's too, he's still, um, being trained and, you know, he's still kind of yelping a little bit when I'm not there, so... I don't want us to get kicked out of places because Blue is like, ah. um, these guys are not coming either because, you know, they're like, we don't want to, we're okay home, okay, so yeah, um, so I don't know about the Friday video, if I'll get to do it before, the, the next Friday video, if I'll get to do it before I leave or um, somewhere over there. We'll just have to play it by ear. We'll see. But uh, yeah, Thomas is coming with. In case um, you've been watching me for a while, you know my RV trips with Thomas. Uh, he's in there waiting for our trip. Blue met Thomas. Uh, he, he didn't rough him up, actually, because he was with me today in the RV for a little bit. And um, he was more interested in... Um, a carton box than Thomas so that made me happy I gave him Thomas to distract him actually from the carton box but that didn't work so okay Thomas is intact he's coming with um for those of you that don't know Thomas is our little uh, mascot thing that goes with us in road trips uh which is a little um fuzzy <laughs> turtle dinosaur looking fluffy toy <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's going to be fl uh, fluffy, fluffy Thomas. And, um, in case I do the video, the Friday video for, from the road, Thomas is probably going to be with us. Yep. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Blue doesn't wake up, uh, so that I don't have to cut this video uh again so yeah i think we're good summer is coming to an end and i'm done with outside readings not not necessarily because of the weather even though it's it's starting to get quite cold for me quite chilly and yeah i i don't care if some people are like eh, 60 degrees is not cold it's cold for me i don't care it's cold for me <laughs> Uh, and, but it's not, it's not even that because I can dress up or I can, you know, throw some, some wood on that fire. Uh, it's the freaking bees, man. They're getting so pissed off and so aggressive and so hungry for stinging. I don't know what they're hungry for, but anyways. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do this inside until next spring slash summer slash who the hell knows when that's gonna be it's usually about eight months around here of this so i don't know but anyways last week end last week end yeah anyways uh current energies check-ins for the weekend man that was long i haven't had such a long introduction for a very long time but um Current energy check-ins for the weekend. I will be going through each sign individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. It'll be quick, to the point, no clarification, no extended for the Friday videos. Um, 
I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be that of a person or even a situation you're dealing with. And don't get stuck on people, people. Don't get stuck on people because I've had comments of, uh, you know what, me and my spouse are doing good. So this doesn't apply to me. What if I'm talking about your mom or your best friend or, your, you know? Anyways, don't get stuck on people, people um where the other energy is at in regards to you where the connected energies are at um and then i'll be pulling a card from the universe for each of you roles can be reversed um timestamps will be in the description box in the comment section on the play bar they will only properly work after the live premiere of this video uh, we'll finish uploading, which live premiere of this video doesn't mean that this video is live. It means that it's been pre-recorded um, and that I'm just setting it up in that way so that I can be in the chat with you guys and, you know, have a blast because we usually do in there. People miss the video completely because they're focused on whatever's going on in there, which... Uh, it's quite the wide range there of things talked about. Um, so it's fun. It's fun. If you want to stop by in the chat in the morning, uh, we're there, you know, getting our coffees ready. Some of us, others uh, going to work or coming from work because, you know, all sorts of different time frames in different countries. And the... so it's really cool. Um, Felix is the king of sleeping, I swear to God. The, not even sleeping, the king of chill. The king of, I don't give a shit. That's why this cat has been sent into my life. Even though I'm very close to there. Just to teach me that. I freaking adore this gentle giant. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so let's get going. Earth signs, Capricorn. I have a couple of mini vacations planned out until I think I'll stop sometime in mid October. And then I'll be home for a while until next year. And then we'll see what happens next. Who the hell knows where we're going, what we're doing. Ah. Ah. So, Capricorn, let's see here. All right, on your side, you get the Four of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Nine of Cups. I mean, you're a little you're a little upset about something here. I don't know about what. You're kind of showing me the overall energy on your side over a particular situation to be good, to be, you know, I'm in a good place. Uh, you know, I'm emotionally balanced. Everything feels fine. Everything feels great. But you, you seem a little bit upset about something. But you're kind of giving me a sense of I'll be okay. You know, I'll be fine. Um, in terms of your working with that, so you're not just letting it be, yeah, I'm upset about something, but we'll brush it under the rug, we're good. No, you're working on it. So it could be that something here upset you, maybe there was an interaction that, or something, I don't know what, but the good news is you're working on it. Um, the energy attached to you, the Seven of Wands, the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles, maybe this upsets you. Because they seem to, energetically speaking, they seem to, to, to kind of have or feel this bond, you know, this, this very strong bond to you. But physically speaking, they're kind of like doing their own thing. They're like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not seeing them doing their own thing, their own thing. But like, commitment-wise, there's an issue there. Something is happening there where they're like, eh. So maybe that's why you're upset. Who knows? However, for the connection, the Ten of Cups, the King of Wands, the King of Cups. Everything looks good here. And I feel like, again, overall, for this connection, everything is great. It's playing out as you would probably want to, as it should. You know, it's, it's bringing in great energy. There's a little tiny something that's missing from it. And that's possibly... The, the partial lack of commitment here, because I'm not seeing it being so difficult that it's it's here. 
it's here, but it's not that visible. It's, it's very subtle, but you're feeling it. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what the universe has. The Judgment card, the Sun, the Three of Cups. I mean, it's a work in progress, this situation. And believe it or not, it could actually go even better. It could go to better places, this connection. Uh, it has that potential. So as long as they kind of are starting to be aware of what's going on here and possibly working on it, this has great potential, whatever this connection is, you know, for happiness, for true happiness. So, And it's in that process of go in there if allowed of course if not interfered with along the way so cool that you're starting off the rounds of reading like that for everybody i hope anyways moving on to taurus man i gotta get to canada at some point I was uh, i don't know why canada freaking came to mind right now Maybe next year. Just for a little bit. I don't know why. I got a really strong sense of Canada. Like why? Who the hell knows? Because I, um, I wanted to go this year. I think I wanted to go last year too, but yeah. Too many things happening at home. Anyways. animals that go that come that... on your side you get the ace of swords the six of pentacles the page of wands um okay i mean you're showing me here let me see something i don't know what the hell is going on here you're kind of giving me a sense of hmm being open to initiate something, uh, something that looks right, something that looks kind of surrounded by the energy of equal give and take somehow, but it's it's very small, it's very tiny. It's like, you know, <laughs> coming through even as a, hi, what's up? You know, just, just like that, just something very, very small. But I feel like it's hiding a bigger energy. The thing is I can't clarify, so I can't see. <laughs> I kind of get the sense that you're keeping it up there to the surface, like not showing much. It's like, yeah, yeah whatever. Mm, you're hiding something more with this. But the way it shows up, it's kind of like wanting to initiate something, you know. Um, the energy attached to you, the judgment card, the seven of cups, the justice card. Um, whoever this is, is kind of going through their own process. I'm not sure how much attention they're paying to you right now. I feel like they're aware of you and your initiation or your high, what's up. Um, but it's like they're going through a pretty deep process of cleansing, of balancing out, of, you know. They're doing a lot. I don't know what's going on, on but I, I, I just see a very transformative process for them, you know. Um, I don't know. For the connection, the Hierophant, see, that's you. That's the bigger energies. The hangman, the chariot. Oh, so the bigger energy that play would be that you feel a push in a particular direction. You feel like you're being possibly guided to open up or to initiate something. And the, the, the push from the universe is pretty big here, you know, but you're resistant to it. You're not resistant to it. You're like, universe, give me a minute. I need to think about it, you know? So it's not resistance, resistance. It's just kind of like stalling, buying some time there. Um, okay, so that's what's going on here. Okay. Let me see what the universe has. The Magician, the Eight of Swords, the Judgment card. It's, you know what, it's a little bit of the way I see these energies right here, even though your energies are tied up to one another, I kind of see everybody doing their own thing, not, it's, it's, 
it's not chaotic, but it's not organized in the way I kind of get your energies. It's hard to catch them, to put them in the same place to see what, what the hell is going on. So somebody even is trying to manifest from this kind of an energy. And it's the way I see the energies. Imagine that's how the universe sees the energies in that manifestation. It's like, so take this from here, this like a puzzle, like a, a very all over the place puzzle. But again, it doesn't feel chaotic. It just feels misplaced. Everything feels misplaced on your side individually, on their side individually, on the connection side together. It... <laughs> so somebody's trying to manifest something here. But it's like, let me gather up the pieces because I don't even know what the fuck I want. You know, so I'm just going to send all sorts of pieces to the universe. Maybe the universe can figure it out because I can. Uh... So it's... I, it's a weird reading, basically. I don't even know what the hell is going on here, but that's it. I'm not even clarifying. And when I see a reading like, like this and I'm not clarifying, I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, no idea. No idea what just happened here. But anyways, moving on to Virgo. Taurus reading threw me off so hard that I, I almost started to do an extended for Virgo. I'm like, yeah, no, we're not there. Come back, come back. Friday reading, chill. I didn't even do the reading, but I was doing the extended. See, that's the kind of energy I got in Taurus that it was hard to explain. Hold on, I lost a card. Okay. All right, on your side, you get the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups. Ooh, what is going on here? Let me see what's going on. Ooh, this is not your energy, uh, but you're feeling it, or it's Im it's impacting you somehow. You're, you're, ooh. <laughs> it's, ooh, it's not a great energy here. Man, I felt it. Um... It's a low, low, low kind of energy, almost lacking, defeated, almost depressed, I want to say. But I feel like it's not your energy. It could be. It could be, but you're showing me no, you know, your back is turned to it as if it's not yours, but you're feeling it. And I'm not sure if you're feeling it, but it definitely impacts you in some way. You're definitely feeling the effects of it, at least. It's whoever this is tied up to you. But they, I mean, they don't want to put it on you. I feel like they don't want to put it on anybody, but it kind of... Here, everybody take it, you know, kind of a thing. Um, okay. You don't want it. <laughs> You're like, not mine. Um, okay. Ooh, man, not mine either, hopefully. Um... On this side, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Tower. Yeah, it's not... I feel like they're trying to keep it contained. The The thing is, I feel like they're not even sure 100% what the hell it is. The good part is that they're working on it. Even if they don't know what it is, they're working on it. Their energy is working on it. So it's kind of like a blindfolded kind of thing where imagine this is you... And your blindfold is on and you have no idea what the fuck is going on, but the energies are at work. In the back stage there of you, the, the energies are at work like crazy. And there's a very, very low kind of vibration kind of energy attached to you in the background there. But the energy of healing and even the universe and even your higher self is back there working on that. So that's kind of how I see this here. Ew. For the connection, the Empress, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, yeah, not, not, not feeling it, not feeling, not feeling empowered, not feeling good in someone's skin here, not, not, 
And again, I, I feel like whoever is experiencing this, whether it's you or them, because roles can be reversed, um, can't grab this, doesn't know what this is. It's like, what I just feel it. I just don't know what it is. I, I don't know where to start with it. I don't. And it's, again, I feel like healing is happening in the background where... I'm not saying don't look for it and don't try to work with it and don't 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 let it get you down, especially because it's a big one. Um, but like, just so you know, as a little bit of reassurance, at least there's healing happening over that. Whoever is dealing with this, man, what is this? It came out of nowhere. Let's see what the universe has. The Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Fool. Okay. Good news is... Thank you, universe. Good news is it feels like shit now. Things are going to change for the better. Man, when I feel these energies so intense and then I see that flip, I'm like... Yay! <laughs> With what I got left. Yay! Anyways. Okay. So, okay. Good. So things are going to change for the better here. It's not going to last for too long, and it's not going to stay like this. Thank goodness. Okay. Moving on to fire signs, Aries. Timing, big ass timing situation here. On your side, you get the Four of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Temperance card. Uh, you're in a place of love here for a particular person. There's definitely a sense of bond, a sense of commitment in your feelings for this. Um, in all honesty, I feel like they feel the same thing, but they're not there with you now on the same page it's like you're you're passing one another you know by a milli step where it's like you're you're just missing one another um in this energy i mean anyways the energy attached to you the page of swords the three of pentacles the death card yeah it feels like they're not giving an inch of anything to this right now you know, whereas you're quite at the opposite extreme of feeling the the whole intensity of this, they're at that other end of it being like, hey. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> you know, nothing really. Um, for the connection, the Six of Swords, the World card, the Knight of Cups. It's just a role re reversal, almost. You know, where when you're in this kind of an energy when it comes to them, they're in this kind of an energy when it comes to you. When they're in a similar kind of energy that you carry now, you could be in a similar kind of an energy that they carry now. So it's like you you keep on reversing those roles. And never really, for a split second, you do meet halfway. But you pass each other like, like you don't even see it. You you. It's not like you stop and enjoy the moment. You just, okay, let's switch roles. You know, kind of a thing. Um, why? Why the hell? I don't know. Let's see what the universe has. I've had a, last year, the squirrels started hiding nuts in all sorts of weird places. It was the funniest thing. Um, this year, I think that they're starting because I'm seeing them more and more. What I'm seeing for now is they don't even bury them anymore. They just put them out there in the backyard and like, that's it. I hit it. 
I can see it. I can see a hundred nuts in the backyard there. Oh yeah, you chose a corner. Great. I'm not walking through there a lot, but like bury it. Do some put a leaf over it. Do something. Nope. They're I mean, they're funny as hell. So I see one over there going. Probably to find the perfect spot. Out in the open. Uh, yeah, last year there was like there was one on the garage light there was one on where the hell on the fence light like like i don't know how the hell, hell they put them there there was one on the handle over there and the, like, okay but this year they're like we're not doing shit anymore but we're hiding them okay nine of swords queen of swords page of pentacles I mean, you're trying to see what's happening energetically. You're, I feel like you're actually starting to understand what's happening energetically, but your mind has a hard time accepting it. You know, okay, so why the hell can't we meet halfway and sit for a minute, sit there for a drink or something? <laughs> like, what? You know, your mind is having trouble accepting what's going on. From inside of you there, you're definitely understanding this concept of you know mismatch a little bit and just the timing of it it's just every every time you you get there in the, that middle part middle section it's like nope let's rush to change those roles you know um when they're available you're not when you're available they're not kind of a thing that's kind of how it's shown up and again i feel like you're having a hard time wrapping your mind around it um but yeah what is that? Is that a hawk or is that a blue jay? That's Felix. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it's a blue jay. They're very similar to hawks sometimes. And usually when hawks are around. Moving on to Leo. Felix, can you go check what kind of bird that is? Just by opening your eyes and looking out the window. That's a blue jay. Okay. Then I never mind. I'm sorry that you didn't even bother to open your eyes, let alone listen to the, what the hell I was saying. They're loud. Are there hawks around? Because usually that's how they go. Anyways. Leo. Leo, Leo. Um, five of swords, four of pentacles, the fool. What the hell is this, Leo? Um... You're a little upset with yourself because I feel like you feel this energy of let's go for it. Let's go. Let's do. Let's, you know, let's. You feel this energy of let's. I don't know if it's in regards to a particular direction or not or just I kind of see it as a general, but it could be tied up to one particular situation. Um, it's pretty strong, this energy. And I see you upset with yourself. That could indicate to me that even though you feel this energy, you're not following it. You know, you're just kind of like, yeah, let's. I'll do it in a minute. You know, there's no embracing this energy for some reason. Okay. The energy attached to you, the moon, the three of wands, the queen of wands. Same thing on this side, but showing up a little different. Uh, at least they have a fantasy about it. You know, a little side world where they created their own fantasy where things are actually happening. The, the let's is definitely there. Um, they're not doing shit about it. No, 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 nobody's moving here. You're doing it from your own perspective in terms of, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna respond to my own energy that's um and they're like well i feel things but i choose not to 
you know, take them into the physical, but I have the option of creating this little fantasy world with these kinds of things that I'm feeling and putting all of what I'm feeling in there. Okay. Uh, so for the connection, the page of cups, the ace of cups, the five of swords. And you're both telling me, no, there's love there. It's good. Everything's fine. And it's bullshit because, you know, it, yeah, there's love there. But no, it's not being experienced, you know. It, no. Uh, with the five of swords here over this love, you're kind of being called out to both of you. Because you're kind of in the same place, just, you know, kind of taking these energies in different ways. But same thing. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. It's not... You know what? I'm not going to argue with you. You're, you're giving me a sense of... And the universe is telling me, look, for right now... This works. For some reason, the universe says, for right now, this works. But you know it's crap because, uh, one, well, one, it's showing up in the connection. And two, it's like feeling the intensity of a mountain and bringing up the dust from a hill. It just doesn't match. It just doesn't make sense. You know, um, wanting really desiring like this super duper 10 floor house um and getting a tiny home and be like oh i'm so happy oh, it fits my dreams no it doesn't you just you know that's where it's kind of like but the universe says for now it works i don't know why the hell the universe says that so for now it works we'll just leave it at that There's something fishy about this reading and i'm like what the hell is going on are you in cahoots with the universe that the universe says no there's got to be a reason for this i know that but okay if it works it works if it floats your boat it floats your boat anyways moving on to sagittarius On your side, you get the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, you're giving me a sense of I have no time for that, you know. But what you don't, ow, ow. What you don't have time for is, <laughs> it hurt my elbow. Um, pursuing something that makes you happy. Pursuing something that brings you a sense of, man, this feels good. You know, something that's good for you. You're, you're saying, I don't have time for that. I got to work or something like that. Like, I got to, you know, I got to keep my feet on the ground. I got to be responsible here. I don't have time to pursue what makes me happy. What the hell? Am I crazy? Okay. Uh, the energy attached to you, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Three of Wands. Hold on. What's up with the fire signs? Um, well, this energy wants is heading towards you. But they're heading towards you so slow that they're never going to catch up. It, it's so freaking slow that it's like, you know, it, it's almost like seeing you like 10 steps ahead and being like, Sad. They can't see me. Sad, you can't see me. What the hell? I did everything I... Why can't they hear me? I do not understand what the hell is going on here. For the connection, the justice card, the moon, the world card. There's a closure to this at some point. Maybe that's why it's not. 
you don't have time for this. They're yelling on silent towards you. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like things are the way they're supposed to be right now, but I feel like things have been closed off here. You know, energetically speaking, or in the bigger picture of things, things have been closed off. Things are probably not supposed to work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's still energy from you to them, from them to you somehow, even if it's kind of like, what the hell is this? But it's like, no. Um, yeah, there's been, there's been definitely a closed book on this kind of like uh, yeah yeah for now maybe that book will open up later who the hell knows uh from the universe you get the six of swords the queen of swords the judgment card yeah no that book is getting more and more closed at least on your side you're quite determined you're like nope i don't want to open up that book again chapter closed book closed i'm done i read it nice check let's put it back on the shelf uh that's kind of how it looks like so maybe you saying i don't have time for this crap is actually right because you don't want to give your time to this so i don't know i didn't expect my fire signs to exhaust me i'm a fire sign why do you exhaust me what the hell did you do by the time I get to water, I'll, I'll snore, I'll sleep. I'll, I don't snore, I hear, but I'll definitely snooze or something. Anyways, uh, air signs, Libra. <laughs> this guy is in his fifth dream. I can hear him in there being like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I hear that's what I do instead of snoring. I, I do kind of sounds like a cat. From from what people tell me. You're purring when you sleep on it. Oh, well, I am a cat. Makes sense. Anyways. I see the squirrel. Definitely finding a place in there. It's not hard. Just drop it. Leave it in there. It did. Good. Good hiding place. I'm never going to find it until I walk in that direction. Oh, man. It's fascinating. Animals are super fascinating to me, man. Anyways, uh, Libra. On your side, you get the Strength card, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Ooh, this is a tough one. Because you're in an energy of walking away from something here or wanting to. You know, your plan is to, to, to just leave something behind you. And it's a difficult one by the looks of it. it. Takes a lot. I don't see you doing it. I just see your intention of doing that, of walking away from a particular connection. And it's very, very hard. Um, the energy attached to you, the nine of wands, the nine of swords, the sun. Ooh. They're very conflicted. They don't know what they want. They don't know what makes them happy. You know, very, 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 very conflicted here. Uh, for the connection, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Lovers. I feel like someone wants to do something about it, but not now. Once things have settled down, once things healed a little bit. Um, it's kind of like we'll leave it as it is for now, or we'll just drop it for now, and we'll resume this later, or at least we'll try to. When we come to this place with, you know, more clarity more like better energy uh, more healing to this okay let's see what the universe has to close it off the star the six of cups the magician yeah i mean you're in a place of manifesting something that does work out um definitely a soul connection that works out that that's great that that just kind of flows you know because whatever this is or was or i i feel like it still is somehow uh it's very very tough very difficult to deal with very oh my god what the what is this you know i need something easy i need something to flow this is too hard 
you know? So you're in the midst of manifesting something that does work and something that works flawlessly, that, that works just organically. It just flows, you know? So, okay. So if there's anything that this connection taught you is that you want something that flows rather than... I don't know, walking through mud here. Who the hell knows what this is? But anyways... That's it. Moving on to Aquarius. On your side, you get the Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Cups. Ooh, uh, you're getting very close to this point of... I kind of see you starting from an energy of conflict, so not being on the same page with someone. But it almost looks like one of those things where you're fighting with someone over something for so long that you're at that place of, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I can't fight over this anymore, you know? You're kind of like, fuck this. You're not there yet, but you're getting close to there the um, energy attached to you the queen of wands the ace of wands the three of wands this is a feisty energy right here why does it feel this feels like a very inst instigative kind of an energy like okay i'll wait for things to calm down and then i'll just blast and make a mess in there and you know, it's almost like looking for a fight, looking for trouble, but waiting, waiting for the right time to do that. What the hell is going on here? Anyways, uh, for the connection, the two of wands, the lovers, the empress. This is actually a very deep connection. <laughs> but it manifests itself right now as a shit show. Um, I'll piss the hell out of you just because. And, you know, when you calm down, don't worry. I'll be back to piss the hell out of you again. I'm not going to just leave you there, you know, to, to just chill. I'll be right there. Wait for me. <laughs> you know, kind of. Uh, this is not great. This is not great at all. What I can say is, is that it's definitely a very intense, very powerful connection. But it's not manifesting in its true form. Possibly in its distorted form. Not that healthy. Not at this time, at least. Um, yeah. Let's see what the universe has. The Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're you're getting sick of this. You're getting to that. But I mean, okay, you're you're getting to that point of I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to like the hell with this for good. I feel like consciously you know that this is something that you can't say for good over. Like it's not gonna go anywhere. Physically, yeah, it could go. It could come back. Whatever. Energetically, it's not gonna go anywhere. You know, in its meaning, it's going to stay there like this forever and ever and ever. So I feel like consciously you know that, but you're getting to a point of so drained out or so I've had enough with this that not even the fact that you know that this is not going anywhere is not going to help here. You, you still want to get rid of it completely, you know. Again, I don't see you there yet, but you're getting very close to there. Um... All I can do is remind you that this is not going to go anywhere. No matter how pissed off you get, no matter how much you, you're falling into that place of, but I want it to. You know, the more you fight against it, of, of, of against the actual reality that this is going to stay forever and ever and ever, the harder it's going to get, especially through this. You know, you're going to get more pissed off and more pissed off and more, and that's not beneficial for you, ultimately. So, anyways... 
And that's it. Moving on to Gemini. On your side, you get the Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Hangman. Oh, you want to do something really bad, but you're not doing it because you're scared. Well, you're hiding that with the sense of, no, I'm not scared. I'm just thinking about it. Just buying some time, chilling, looking at it from all sorts of angles. I'm thinking about it. No, you're scared. I mean, fear is definitely showing up here in the way, so. But you are justifying it with, no. I don't know what fear is. Yeah, you do. Um, the energy attached to you, the Page of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Cups. Well, you know, this is someone that cannot make up their mind. Um, lots of back and forth energy. One day they're here, they're giving attention to you and all sorts of things. The next day it's like, nah, I didn't say that. I didn't mean that. I'm taking that back. Goodbye. Uh... They're a little bit spread out. Their energy is going all over the place in terms of if they're giving energy to you, okay, they're giving energy to you, but they're giving it to multiple other sources too. You know, so I don't know what this is about, but their energy is not focused solely on you. It's definitely open in all sorts of directions. So it's a little bit not stable, you know. Uh, for the connection, the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the World card. I mean, I feel like you're coming from a place of, you know, healing into your own sense of confidence and your own sense of self-love. Because um, you're showing me you're coming off of this kind of cycle where you reach that place of self-respect, self-worth, self-love, you know? So then what the hell are we talking about here? If you're coming from this place, then the question is simple here. Do you deserve this or not? Because you're kind of like, oh, I should try it, but I'm not going to because I'm scared. Scared of what? Do you deserve this or not? This kind of an energy. Do you feel like you should deal with this kind of an energy? Coming from a place of I know my self-worth. It's an energy that's sporadic. It's not giving to you and only you. You know, it's all over the place. If you feel like you deserve that, by all means. Um, especially because you're coming from this place. So you should know by now. You know. Let's see what the universe has. The Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. You're, you're confusing me. <laughs> Because uh, you're telling me, I feel that this is um, well, you're telling me I feel like this is this can work out. This can get to that place. Anything can get to that place. Is it there now? You know, it, it's what you are doing with it now, not where it can get to, not maybes, ifs, you know, all sorts of things like that. Now. I'm going to tell you what I see from my perspective here, from where I'm sitting. These are not matching energies. Your energy with this kind of an energy, it's not matching. Not right now. Ask me a year from now, maybe I'll see them matching. Who the hell knows? Things can change, yes. And things can work out, yes. Are they working out now? No, but if I try, well, if you try, if this has nothing started together yet, and if you try with an energy that from the get-go doesn't match you, what do you think that's going to bring? But maybe one, 
from the get-go, there's no match. There's no one day. There has to be a l at least a little something to, to you know, to kind of go off of this kind of an energy that one day, who knows. If there's nothing of a match in there, what are you going to create from? Air or nothing, you know? So I don't know. Um, it's really up to you, but if nothing started yet, and then you get your energy, your heart, your everything involved in this, at a later time, it's going to be more difficult to get the hell out of Dodge. Right now, that's the only question you should ask yourself. Do I deserve this now? Not for what it may be. Anyways, moving on to water signs, Pisces. On your side, you get the Devil, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands. Um, what you're saying to me here is like, if we were, you know, face to face and we would talk, you would present to me a particular situation and you would say, I feel so good about it, knowing that, no, it's not good. It's unhealthy. Whatever it is, no, you know that it's not good. Blue is getting up. So, um, I'm not sure if you're not seeing it for what it is, the situation, which kind of looks unhealthy, or you're trying to convince yourself that, no, it's actually good when it's not that good, you know? The energy attached to you, the world card, the page of pentacles, the six of swords. Yeah, blue is up. Um, so... The energy attached to you, the world card, the page of pentacles, the six of swords. Um, whoever this is, is closing off a cycle, but I see you looking at their process. There's... Mm. In the connection that you may have towards this other energy, you're feeling like there's progress, there's something going on, and it's like, yeah, I feel good about it, but I don't see it good. You know, I don't, I don't get that energy of. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what's going on here, but on their side, they're definitely closing off uh, a process, but they have their back turned to you. That's the thing, and that's when you're looking at them, and you're like, oh, there's progress here. Oh, ooh, they're looking at me. Because I feel like you know that no, there's no progress necessarily. Um, you're kind of giving me a sense of things changed for the better. No, they are in the process of, but they haven't changed yet for the better. There's still something quite not great in the mix. You know, that's the thing here. Um, for the connection, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Two of Swords as i said there's healing here currently i feel like there's a lot of confusion in the middle of this healing in the midst of this healing there's definitely a whole lot of are we doing this right is it changing is anything changing for that matter oh my god everything is changing and like you get caught up in like instant gratifications kinds of energies like you see a good something that changed you know a little something and you're like everything changed for the better not really you got to give this time whatever this is even if it's you individually here going through this process give yourself time to to fall into this energy to sink into this energy of shift change for the better because i do see there's there's a little bit of that going on here um don't rush and don't draw quick conclusions from little things here and there when the overall energy is kind of the same 
uh, there's definitely a, a change at play. There's a process going on. Yes, you're right about that. There is a shift happening. But nothing sturdy and put in place quite yet. You know, things overall kind of look the same for now. Um, let's see what the universe has. So close this off. The Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like at a conscious level, you you know that. You know, it takes time for change to actually sink in, to be implemented, to 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 show up. Uh, but I feel like you're excited about it. You know, you see the littlest thing and you want to hang on to it and be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I get it, you know, but even at a conscious level, some part of you is aware that no, you know, we're kind of in the same place. Yes, there may be progress, but it's very slow and it needs time, this whole situation, whatever the hell is going on here. So, okay, and that's it. Moving on to Scorpio. I'll possibly bring blue at the end of this. Maybe that's where I'm cut that part off, put it in the beginning, and then I'll leave it at the end. Anyways, let's see, Scorpio. Ooh. 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 All right. Let's get back to business. On your side, you get the Empress, the Ten of Cups, the Lovers. Ooh. You got something going on here. You got someone going on here. You got someone you're looking at, and you're like, oh my god. Or you're like, ooh, you know, I don't know. Quite good energy right here. Ooh, man, I wish I could, I wish I could clarify to see what's what exactly. But overall, you're presenting me with whoever this is to you. There, ooh, and then there's love. There's this deep connection that you're feeling towards whoever this is at this time, at least. The energy attached to you: the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, love. Definitely. Lots of love. Someone is approaching you here with a lot of love and the intention of bringing this love together. So for the connection, the King of Swords, the Hermit, the Page of Wands, things look pretty balanced. Things look pretty good. It looks like you're right on track here in terms of interpreting what this is, feeling what this is in the clear way that it shows up. And so looks good. And... Well, I'm kind of getting this more on your side in terms of your perception over this rather than the both of you in the connection. But I do see their intentions here too on their side. So looks like it's matching. Looks like, yeah, you're right there with this. Let's see what the universe has. The Eight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Hermit. I mean, at times you're not feeling it though. At times you're not connected to this. At times you're not connected to yourself much. Uh, but when you do connect to yourself, which is a beautiful thing when it does show up, it's it's freaking amazing. The thing is, I feel like you're trying to not connect to yourself, to not feel this this much at times uh, about whoever this is. Um, yeah, you're looking almost uninterested in connecting to this energy, even though it feels beautiful. And you know that when you are connected fully to it it's like oh my god it feels so intense could be because it's intense that sometimes it's like okay it's too much let me not think about it let me not feed this energy because it's a little too much i don't know it, it feels like a good energy though you know but i see you choosing at times to disconnect from it for some reason so i don't know but anyways that's it blue is right behind me looking at me like hold on i'm coming moving on to cancer
on your side, you get the Judgment card, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands. You're definitely following how you feel here. So something makes you feel good, you're going to go pursue it. Something doesn't make you feel good, ah, fuck it, I'm not doing anything about it. So your energy is definitely being led from the perspective of this makes me feel good. Let's go, you know? Uh, really good energy, really nice. The energy attached to you, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the King of Cups. This is someone that's refusing to align with how they feel. Quite the opposite of where you're at. Uh, they carry a lot of love for you. They carry a lot of emotions, but they're like, yeah, I don't want to feel it. I don't want to. Well, you are. So, uh, I don't know if they're doing that whole shebang of I don't want to. I feel like they're overthinking things so much that it doesn't allow them to connect to how they feel. You know, they're like going at 100 miles per hour in that brain of theirs, you know. So, okay. For the connection, the Three of Wands, the Eight, eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Someone's showing me here a sense of, I don't want to hear it, you know. Um, they could be receiving whoever this is. Could be you, could be them, could be the both of you. But I'm leaning towards one of you and we'll see which one if I choose at the end of this. But someone is hearing something about self-love or taking care of themselves or putting themselves first. Um, they're hearing about it from somewhere. It's definitely an energy that's coming outside of from outside of them. And they've been hearing it for a while. And there's a little bit of, I don't want to hear about it, but at the same time, they're actually working with that energy. In all honesty, the way it's showing up, it could be you, you know? I feel like it's almost one of those things where it's a subliminal kind of a message where you're kind of getting these messages about self-care, self-love, self-this, that, and the other, but they're not super clear that they're talking about that, but you're still picking them up and starting to work with them, you know? Um, kind of shows up a little bit like that. I kind of feel like it's you. Um, but anyways, let's see what the universe has. The Seven of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Your energy is not being shared here with whoever this is, even though you think it is. Um, and it's not your fault. It's like... Mm, there's a mismatch in energies at this point. I feel like this is not... You know permanent i feel like this is a temporary kind of a disconnect in it, it's kind of like think of it this way like you know you put your energy and their energy like this something happened that made it flip like this where you're not clicking anymore uh but i feel like it's a temporary kind of a thing where you think that your energy is being shared yeah there's a hawk in there uh, actually that's a vulture turkey vulture anyway you think that you're still in this place, but you're not. You're off a little bit for some reason. You know, I don't know if that's you flipping your energy or them. One of you did. Could be them with the overthinking part. They could be busy up here, which disconnects them from them. And that may flip the freaking thing. But um, yeah, it's been here. It's been happening for a little bit. Uh, but I don't feel like this energy will stay. You know, I feel like eventually it'll flip back up. So, that's it. That is what I have for you. I shall not go get blue. Because I will go make a little, little snippet of something with him out there when we're playing. And I'll put that in the beginning of the video where I said I would. So, yeah, we'll do it like that. I will go get him, but not for the video. I will go get him because he's chewing on something quite... Um, very passionate about it too. And then looking at me like, what, what did I do? I think you see a little head in the background there. Yeah, moving. Yeah, that's his little... Anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I have for you guys. So I'll see you when I see you. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for 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 doing this with me here. You know, we're doing this together. We're in the shit show together.
So appreciate the help from hundreds of thousands of views out there. Um, and yeah, I'll um, love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.